Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel in this session we will compare all these polarity protection circuits which we discussed in our last series of videos in video number 539 we used this diode and we protected the next circuit today we will see the advantages and disadvantages of this circuit in video number 540 we used this diode as a shunt and we use a fuse to protect the circuit. Then we discussed in video number 541 that this relay it was protecting the load. It was allowing just only to pass the current when the polarity is good. In reverse polarity it will remain off. The problem in this circuit that all the time when the polarity is good this relay was remaining in the circuit and it was powered on so it was consuming some amount of current to overcome this issue from this current consumption we made connection in this session 542 we turned off relay when the polarity is good by reversing this diode and we will see the losses of this circuit and we will see the benefit of this circuit then we discussed in video number 543 we discussed how we can protect the circuit from reverse polarity using MOSFET. In video number 544 we used a bridge rectifier to convert the polarity. And video number 545 we discussed this relay based polarity converter. Let's start. If you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it. And if you want to watch my videos in future you can press bell icon button. It is one next probe I am connecting across the load negative voltage to the negative and positive voltage to the positive side the voltage are reaching in the output if I will reverse the polarity negative here positive in the low side I reverse the polarity but now there are no output voltage because this diode is now reverse biased and the load will protect it from reverse polarity. The benefit of this circuit that it will protect the circuit. The loss of this circuit if the voltage drop across this diode is 0.7 volt and we are consuming 2 ampere current 2 multiply with 0.7 so it will 1.4 watt power loss here across this diode. It will dissipate power. The second thing the voltage here 12 volt the load will receive 12 volt minus this forward voltage 0.7 volt 11.3 volt will reach here it will consume 0.7 volt this is the loss of this circuit in this video number 540 the power dissipation and the voltage drop issue was compensated here by using this diode as a shunt and we inducted a fuse here let's check this circuit positive high side and the low side when the polarity is good positive to the positive and the negative to the negative the output voltage are good in this condition the diode is reverse bias because positive voltage are at the cathode but when we will reverse the polarity what will happen we will connect negative voltage here that are reaching to the cathode so the negative voltage reaching to the cathode and positive voltage we will connect at the negative side so this diode will become forward bias because negative at the cathode positive at the anode so we will see this circuit now so this diode will allow full current maximum current and it will burn this fuse let's check it so this fuse wire is burned out the circuit is protected just only for this period 0.7 volt were applied to the load so the load will remain safe then in next session in video number 541 we discussed 
how we can protect polarity using this forward biased relay when the voltage will remain in good polarity this relay will turn on and it will allow to pass the voltage this is the output positive and negative positive at positive side and negative at negative side so relay will turn on and it will allow to pass the voltage so it is good but if we reverse the polarity what will happen the negative voltage to the positive line and positive voltage to the negative line now this relay will remain off why because this diode is reverse biased so the circuit will remain safe it is good but the problem in this circuit that this relay will remain on when the circuit is applied with good power so it will consume a little amount of power that is to energize the coil that is the loss in that circuit but now we will see this circuit this circuit when we will apply positive voltage to the positive and negative voltage to negative side it will allow to pass the voltage relay is off in the last circuit when the polarity was good relay was on but now we reverse the diode here we connected a reverse polarity diode here so the relay will off but now if we will reverse the polarity in this circuit what will happen negative voltage at positive line and positive voltage at negative line we can see this spike so when the polarity is reversed these pulses this far 5 to 6 millisecond if the relay is large maybe it will reach up to 10 millisecond why because relay need some time for some millisecond to build magnetic field and to make this mechanical motion to change the points of this relay this time this is around we will measure the time cursor time so it is around 10 millisecond time so this 10 millisecond pulse negative reverse polarity pulse it can damage the next circuit if our circuit is polarity sensitive so this protection should not be used in next session we discussed this mosfet based protection in video number 543 when the polarity is good positive at the positive and the negative at the negative the voltage are good if we reverse the polarity positive voltage at negative line negative voltage at positive line so the system will remain protected and it is the best protection for the digital circuits and cmos circuits when you select the mosfet just select with minimum rds on resistance so it is good then we discussed the polarity converter using this bridge rectifier it is the load resistance when we connect negative voltage at negative line and positive voltage at positive line the voltage in positive side the good polarity when the reverse polarity at the input side polarity is again in positive side we reverse the leads but the polarity is in positive side good polarity the problem of this circuit this polarity converter is that two diodes either these two or these two will remain in the circuit all the time if the polarity is good or bad 
these two diodes from this bridge rectifier out of four will remain in circuit. So 0.7 and 0.7, 1.4 volt drop will available at this output terminal. Here is 12 volt, 12 minus 1.4 volt, so 10.6 volt will reach here. This is the first loss. The second loss, 1.4 volt drop, if the load is drawing 2 ampere current, 2 multiply with 1.4 volt, the power drop will 2.8 watt. So the continuous power dissipation of 2.8 watt must be considered using this protection. It is useful, but these two losses will remain in the circuit. Then video number 545, we discussed this polarity converter using a relay. Because there was a loss that two diodes were always in the circuit and there was a power loss, power dissipation. That power dissipation we compensated here. Positive to the positive line, negative to the negative line, the voltage are in positive side. That's good, the good polarity at the output load, output terminal. But when we reverse the polarity, positive voltage at low side and negative voltage at high side, this relay turned on. But before turning on, it takes some time, that is 5 to 10 millisecond. So this time, when the relay is trying to turn on, in that time interval, in the shifting of the contacts, it will apply negative reverse voltage, reverse polarity voltage to the load. If our load is polarity sensitive, if it is microcontroller based or any TTL, ECL circuits, any CMOS circuit, that circuit will damage by means of this negative pulse. Okay, we will now, we will check it. Trigger menu to channel one. Okay, single sweep. This negative pulse, it will make problem for the circuit. So this, switching time of the relay, it can damage the circuit. So we must consider this disadvantage of this circuit. Friends, I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.